Warning! The following video is over-exaggerated. Most opinions shared aren't accurate to my thoughts and feelings. I'm still shocked that this remake is real. Gino actually came back for us. Why are people complaining about the box art? It's a reference to the Japanese box art, and it looks very clean on top of that. They made a breezy mode, but not a hard mode. Who the hell wouldn't pick Dash over walking all the time? Peach still says, don't let Bowser bruise you, and it's still the strangest sounding dialogue. Even 27 years later, Bowser insists that Chain Chomp should hold the chandeliers for some reason. Despite all odds and falling from the literal sky, Mario survives this. I think we can all relate to the collapse fall at the end of the day. Since when could Mario levitate? When a battle ends, Mario grabs his hat and holds it up. Man, they took away the spinning piece thing! Oh, I could not possibly be more upset about this! Alright, you debated me. Good job, asshole. Bro, you're still playing on Game Boy? Get an analog pocket, at least! It's still strange that the cutscenes don't have voice acting to some extent. There's no reason to have save blocks anymore when the game autosaves. I just ruined his day. Even for you, that was a pathetic jump. It's kind of sad that this is the first proper Mario RPG game on the Switch, and it's a remake. Croco would be horrible at hide and seek. After beating Croco, Mario just steals his wallet and then sells it at the shop. That's kind of messed up. The fighting backgrounds aren't always accurate like they could be. Like here, I tried to run up to the Mushroom Kingdom castle, only to fight the guards in a different part of town. Why not make a background that keeps us in the same place? Or just use the same one? This weak-looking Mario picture looks like every sad Nintendo article on Twitter. The Bruce Lee line was cut. I can't believe they didn't add an outdated reference. Boyer doesn't fire the arrows off his neck anymore. They just kind of fly off his chest? I, I guess? Where did Bowser's pupils go? Should I be concerned? The double XP bonus is way too easy, considering the Yoshi egg doesn't even spin that fast. You know what? I don't feel bad for selling Croco's wallet earlier. He robbed me again! They're still alive. I like how the minecart doesn't become eviscerated on the spot, but then after that it pops out of existence. Oh wow, 8-bit Mario. Yeah, that's so retro. What a crazy callback. Uh, guys, the Mario doll is literally right there in the room. Just look, tilt your neck higher. Booster's complete blindness to Mario is something else, honestly. Someone needs to let this young lad go pee. He's gonna burst. No, he still licks Peach's tears? Oh, come on, you freak! Bro, this toad was just standing on this desk watching me sleep. That's creepy. They changed Yardovic's name to Spirdovic? Why? The big Yoshi's worth getting, don't get me wrong, but why do I have to keep talking to this Yoshi to get three cookies at a time, then feed them to the baby Yoshi and I gotta give him 30 cookies? 30 cookies? That's why he's big! Wow. The more I played this game, the more I wish these black voids had some sort of background. Like, I get it, the original game was like that too, but I don't know, it's just jarring going from areas with full backgrounds to a tiny hallway in Nivis Castle just floating in space. Oh, that's not creepy at all. Just some ghosts hanging out while I'm sleeping. These jumps are still awkward to make. The way the note falls looks strangely unpolished, which is jarring considering how well-polished this game is. It looks like you jumped to the yellow vine, but no, you gotta hit this invisible block and then you're good. That makes sense. Valentina was so easily swayed by the Mario statue. At first she hated it, five seconds later she loves it! Ah yes, the classic watering my eggs every morning. Mmm, my favorite pastime. Something has changed when fighting Valentina. In the original game, her uh, physics moved around, so to speak, while in this case they don't. If you want fertilizer for a side quest, walk on thin air to find it. After a long fight against the Axum Rangers, we're rewarded with 17 experience points. Yep, that's it. Rip off, thank you. I'm retiring. Goodbye. Why does this mole even need fireworks so I can get the shiny stone? And why did I have to pay 500 frickin' coins for them? The hell does a pro Goomba even need? 
what, green equals pro? Okay, I'll try to remember that. This cannonball puzzle is a pain to figure out. Oh, now shy guys are holding the chandeliers. Yeah, that's so much better than the chain chomps. Here it is, the true scariest boss, time itself. Don't think about that one too hard. Why do you unlock the sound player after beating the game? To get the bright card, you have to play the juggle mini game 12 times. Why such an arbitrary amount of times? Mario's ego is so big that he hums his own theme song in the shower. Booster's train can one-hit KO? What the heck? And the cake can also one-hit KO you if you let all the candles light up for the refight. This secret and Bellum Temple is pretty cryptic. Make the swamp jump a bunch of times, grab a key that fell from the top, talk to Bellum, feed him the key, and then you can access the area. <laughs> what? Getting to the casino is so confusing. You have to go down this pipe, jump three times in this specific spot, and then a new area opens up. What is this Castlevania 2 nonsense? And if you want to get the star egg, have fun winning this minigame 100 times. You have to beat the great guy by looking in the opposite direction that he points and do that 100 freaking times. And what does the star egg even do? Well, it lets you hit anything with 100 damage, which at this point in the game isn't that useful. Is there something wrong? You don't usually come inside. I just don't understand why it was me that found all the orbs. Why me? I, I don't know, Nathaniel. We haven't figured that out yet. Guys! Guys! He's back! Who? Oh god! Not so fast! Jeez. Nathaniel, you warped all of us again like last time! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! <sighs> Someone needs to take those freaking orbs away from you. Guys, we got company.